Hello, good to see you and welcome back to Fort Manager DNA. Today is a tactic testing series and now we have another tactic called Makes No Sense. The link for this will be in the description as per usual. And let's get into it, yeah. And also, if you can like, come subscribe, and ring that bell so you never miss a video of me. Be much appreciated as always. Say, truly appreciate it. I appreciate you and thank you. Got that in there. <laughs> Maybe a bit quick, but I got that in there before I forget. So let's run through the tactic. But like I say, you can download it in the description below. You can make any sense of that, but I will run for it very, very slowly. Sweeper keeper attack, inverted wing back attack with some add on instructions, ball playing defender defend with add on instructions. Is it the same? No, it's not. Ball playing defender defend with different add on instructions, inverted wing back attack with add on instructions, Ro Roman playmaker support with, add -on, with a load of add on instructions. Central midfielder automatic with add on instructions. Let's go to the left hand side. Left hand winger support with add on instruction. Right hand winger support add on instructions with different ones as well. Advanced forward with add on instructions. Different add on instructions. And the right hand side advanced forward with added on instructions. Makes no sense. It makes no sense. Right. Tactical style tick attacker. Mentality attacking. In possession, we have fairly wide. Pass in the space, play out of defence, focus play down the left, overlap the left, and it's the same on the right, focus, focus play down the right and overlap on the right. We've got pass and, pass and directness, slightly more direct, much higher tempo, time waste than never, low crosses, work the ball into box and dribble less. And I think that is it. In transition, we have counter press, counter, to strip, Dispute to the full backs and throw it long. And out of possession, we have defensive whip standard, standard defensive line, a much higher line of engagement. Use the offside trap. It's like everything's ticked. Use to item marking, prevent short goal kick distribution, and get stuck in. And I think that's the lot. I think that is everything. Let's have a look, see if they think the best uh, team to play this is. Pick the best 11 without restrictions. So, they're thinking Larice, Reglon, Dyer, Romario, Royale, Ndumbele, Holberg, Bergwijn on the left, Mora on the right, Sun and Harry Kane up front. Not a bad looking team. I like a good 4 4 2. Is it a 4 4 2 or would you call it a 4 2? 4 2 2? No, it's a 4 4 2. It is. So, that's the team. That's what they're thinking. What, what do we do here? Right. So, we leave the assistant manager in charge. He goes on holiday, he plays his tactic, and then we have a look if it's won anything, if it's done any good. Tottenham is a really hard save. So if it can do anything, finish in the top four, win a cup. Last two tactics I've tested, we won the Euro Cup that you've seen on YouTube. I've tested loads of tactics that you haven't seen. But the last two on YouTube have won the Euro Cup too. So I'm expecting, can, can we make a hat trick of Euro Cup two wins? Can we? Let's have a look at Salford. Okay, so this is the Salford team. This is what they're thinking the best 11 is without restrictions. This guy, Morris, he's just phenomenal. Last two that have made YouTube, he's been absolutely fantastic. So if you're on a lower save, he's telling me he's 30k to 130k. I would pick him up because he just does the business. He's just so good. I don't mean you'd be able to get him straight away because he's just recently joined Salford. But yeah, he's just so good. He's just so good. The first two tactics I've tested, he's been absolutely awesome. So expecting the same again. Right. So, yeah, like I said, we're going to leave the assistant manager in charge. See how Salford do. Salford are favourites to get promotion anyway. They're predicted to finish first. But let me tell you this. The tactics I've tested is not the case sometimes. So, this is a team that look like, yeah, the best 11. So, let's get into the results. Okay, so we're back for the results. And as you can see, Tottenham finished third, which is the best one so far. 76 points. Harry Kane on 60 goals. Oh my goodness, what a season he's had. 7.49 average, Sun with 18 assists, Romero of 95% pass completion, nine man of the match awards for Harry Kane, 19 yellow cards on Dembele, naughty boy, and six players with one red card. Summary, a B. Done nothing, but I got a B. I'm happy with. That's the best, what, best outcome I could have had. Competitions, let's have a look see if we won anything. We have Carabao Cup, winner, winner. Right. FA Cup, disappointing fourth round loss against Wolverhampton. Euro Cup 2, again. 
This is the fair tactic I've shown you. In the fair tactic, they won the Euro Cup too. Harry Kane with 23 goals, an average of a 7.98, and most assists, Son on nine assists. Harry Kane's been absolutely awesome. Let's have a close look at some of these uh, some of these results. Let's have a look at some of these results. So, as you can see, in August, it started really well. Burnley 3-0, Euro Cup 2, qualifying, 3-0, 1-0, Saints 3-0, 2-1. First loss coming against Man United, UFC, 3-2 uh, there, but a 6-0 win there. A 1-0 win against Arsenal, 1-0 with Newcastle, 2-1 with Leicester. Harry Kane's having the time of his life. 0-0, disappointing against Aston Villa, but then a 4 win against the Carabao Cup fourth round against Leicester. Trying to go for a good November. Just a draw there against Brighton was maybe disappointing, but a good win against Liverpool, 3-2. Skip through it. Getting through Christmas time, December, and only a disappointing 2-1 loss against Leeds. Other than that, even beat Main City 3-0. Bergwijn, Harry Kane, and skip. Excellent. And a 3-2 win against Chelsea. Deli Ali getting a couple of goals. Oh, you know it was a good tactic when Deli Ali scores. Uh, a 2-0 loss. Uh, after, oh, yeah, I was just about to say, added a 2 0 loss against Carabao Cup semi final first leg against Chelsea, a 10 2 win in the FA Cup against Northampton, but then a 2 0 win at. Is that at home? Oh, it's away. At home, sorry. At home. And then it goes to penalties, and then Tottenham win on penalties. Yeah, excellent. A 6 3 loss against Southampton. What a game that was. What a game that must have been. Oh my goodness me. This is a bit of a dodgy patch now. 0-0 against Everton. A good win against Man United. Oh my goodness. February was terrible. 2-1. 3-1. Good 2-0 win. 2-1 loss against Arsenal. And then playing new too many games. Newcastle again. In the Carabao Cup final. And a 4-3 win. That was a close. Deli Alley scoring a hat-trick. Deli Alley won us the Carabao Cup. Aston Villa 4-0. Andela in the Euro Cup 2 second round knockout. Let's go, Tony. Let's get script through it quicker. Roma in the quarter final 2-0 win. And then a 3-4 loss on the away leg. And then Shakhtar 3 all there. And then a 5-1 win on the away leg. Excellent. And then a 3-1 loss against Chelsea. 2-1 win against Norwich. And then the last game, a 5-2 win in the final of the Euro Cup 2. Harry Kane, uh, um, let's look for Deli Ali. Yeah, he didn't score. Harry Kane scored a hatchet though, and Tanganga got a couple of goals as well. Goodness me. So, this tactic's done really well. Let's have a look at the squad. I'm losing my voice now. Goals wise, 60 goals and 55 appearances, all competition for Harry Kane. 15 assists as well. That's phenomenal. Deli Ali, 25 goals, 7 assists. He must have been playing alongside him, surely. Son. 11 goals, 18 assists. Yeah, let's have a look at average rating. So we've got Harry Kane, Sanchez doing excellent. Regulon doing well. Harry Kane's the best performer and Sanchez, really. Then it starts dropping off Tanganga. He done all right. Seven, 19 appearances, 7 goals and 3 assists. Royale doing all right. Larice. How many did he concede? Let's have a look. Could have seen a bit quicker. Uh, he did concede a few goals. 14 clean sheets though, not too bad. Not too bad. And yeah, all in all, I think it's a good tactic. I was surprised actually the points though. That seems quite a low points to winner, Liverpool. Eight losses and six draws. Yeah, I am doing a little league now. So in the description, all the tactics I test, I'm doing a league table, of what's got the most points, what's won the most games and what competitions they have won. So please, this is the first one you're watching. Go look out uh, the description below to look at the other tactics and see how this fares against them. See how this fares against the other tactics. And that is a new thing that is coming. It's, it's done already. This one. It's in this one. Salford. How well has Salford done? Let's have a look. 94 points. Close. Very close. Connor Mc McClaney scored on 30 goals. Not as many as Harry Kane. But saying that though, top them around a few more competitions. Josh Morris, who else, is 7.72, 20 assists. Yeah, that, this Josh Morris guy, he's just absolutely phenomenal. We'll have a quick look, see if they 
we have a better look at their competitions. See what they've done in the competitions. Uh, knocked out in the northern section third round against Fleetwood Town. Knocked out in the third round by Ipswich Town. Again, the FA Cup first round, Ipswich Town. Bit unlucky. Bit unlucky. 27 wins, 62 goal difference. M major goal difference. Uh, so they've been scoring goals for fun. So let's have a look at some of the fixtures and we will skip through this quite quickly. I'm all right at the end. So yeah, dodgy August, too many draws, loss against Leeds. Dodgy September. Wasn't a good start by the look of it. They must have really picked up during the end. Yeah, come back December, it seemed like they picked up a bit, yeah. Come December, they picked up. Still had a fair few losses there and again. It's Forest Green 2-1. And, he, and I'm just looking for some big wins. A 7-2 win against Oldham. 4-2 again against Mansfield. And Stevenage, a 4-1 win to end it. And yeah, it was close. It was close in the end up the top. Four points of difference. Four points of difference. Let's have a look at the squad. Let's have a look at the average ratings. We already know Morris is the highest, 7.72. But not bad. I like it when there's more, when there's nearly the whole team. Neither than even the whole first 11 on green. That's what you want to see. That's good. And goals wise, is it shared around a bit? McLeany, 30 goals, like I said. Henderson getting 22 with 12 assists. Where's uh, Morris? But 20 assists, 9 goals. Another great season. Another great season for him. Every time, he must have got injured because he only played 35 appearances, whereas some of these guys, 48 and 46. So, yeah, he's injured now. Could have just, just because it went like that. He has been injured. Six weeks and five months to go. Oh, he got injured in, was it January? January the 15th, he got injured. So he missed like a hell of a lot of the end of the season when their form seemed to pick up. Very bizarre. Okay, like I say, link for this tactics in the description below. I'm doing a league table now. So let's see how this ranks against the other tactics I've tested. But that is it. I'm only showing you tactics that actually win something or do... But it's fairly, really high. You know, where it feels like it's a really good tactic. Because with Spurs, we all know, we should know, that it's such a hard save. They expect so much. And so many of these tactics I've tested, I just get sacked. I can't even make it to the end of the season. But that is it. Another tactic tested. Got a let's play with my Spurs. Spurs, you'd be to believe it. Go check that out. And what else? Got some tips and tricks and some experiments. We've got it all coming. Sooner or later, it's all coming. But thank you so much for watching. Another tactic, tactic testing done. That's it, guys. I'm out.